The Canada Company was a large private chartered British land development company, incorporated by Royal Charter on August 19, 1826, under an Act of British Parliament, given royal assent on June 27, 1825, to aid in the colonisation of a large part of Upper Canada. Originally formed to acquire and develop Upper Canada's undeveloped clergy reserves and crown reserves which, in 1827, the company acquired for £341,000 from the province of Upper Canada, founded by John Galt who became its first superintendent, the company was successful in populating the area called the Huron Tract an achievement later called, "...the most important single attempt at settlement in Canadian history." It is unrelated to the modern Canadian charity of the same name founded in 2006, which assists former Canadian military members and their spouses regain civilian employment after service in the Canadian Armed Forces. <laughs> <laughs> Mission The Canada Company assisted emigrants by providing good ships, low fares, implements and tools, and inexpensive land. Scottish novelist John Galt was the company's first Canadian superintendent. He first settled in York, Toronto, Ontario, but selected Guelph as the company's headquarters, and his home. The area was previously part of the Holton Block, 42,000 acres of former Crown land. Galt would later be considered as the founder of Guelph. The company surveyed and subdivided the massive Huron tract, built roads, mills, and schools, and advertised lots for sale to buyers in Europe. The company then assisted in the migration of new settlers, bringing them to the area by means of a boat, which the company also owned, on Lake Ontario. A plaque erected in Huron County, Pioneers of the Huron Tract 1828–1928, commemorates the work of the men who developed the Huron Tract and the families who lived there. Starting in 1828, John Galt was dismissed and recalled to Great Britain in 1829, for mismanagement, particularly incompetent bookkeeping. General mismanagement and corruption within the company, and its close alliance with the Tory elites, known as the Family Compact, were important contributing factors to the Upper Canada Rebellion in 1837. In 1833, his colleague William Tiger Dunlop took over as superintendent of the company and continued Galt's work for a short time before resigning. Company structure Appointed Secretary of the Canada Company in 1824 John Galt helped to obtain a charter for the company on 19 August 1826. On that date, the formal structure of the Canada Company was put into place by the company's Court of Directors. John Galt, as Secretary, had the first order of business. Tabling an abstract of the charter, Galt declared the name to be the Canada Company, with directors and secretary as served on the Provisional Committee and listed in the charter. At the first meeting of the board, it was declared that four directors would rotate off the company beginning in 1829. <laughs> <laughs> Dissolution of the Canada Company When the company sold its land to different purchasers, it reserved the mineral rights to itself. In 1919, the company issued quit claims on such claims, vesting the mineral rights to the Crown. As a consequence, the Legislative Assembly of Ontario passed legislation in 1922 and 1923 authorizing the grant of such rights to landholders at a set price. By 1938, the Canada Company held just over 20,000 acres, 81 square kilometers acres of unsold land, while the company shares were valued at 10 shillings. It had become a land company in the process of liquidation. By 1950, only 4,207 acres, 17.03 square kilometers remained in its possession, distributed amongst Lambton County, the United Counties of Leeds and Grenville and Lanark County. In 1951, the remaining land was disposed and land that was unsold became Pinery Provincial Park. The company voted to wind up its affairs on August 12, 1953, and was dissolved on December 18, 1953.
Topic sources Galt, John 1833. The Autobiography of John Galt, 1779–1839. 2. Philadelphia, Key and Biddle. Armstrong, Frederick H. 1985. Handbook of Upper Canadian Chronology revised ed. ISBN 1-55002-543-0. Cameron, James McIntyre, Cameron, June Carolyn 1967. The Early Days in Guelph, Guelph and the Canada Company PhD. Guelph, University of Guelph. OCLC 670494628. Coleman, Thelma, Anderson, James The Canada Company. Stratford, County of Perth and Cumming Publishers. ISBN 978-0-88988-029-0. Hall, Roger Dennis 1973. The Canada Company, 1826–1843 PhD. University of Cambridge. OCLC 500461425. Carr, Clarence The Canada Land Company, The Early Years, An Experiment in Colonization 1823–1843. Toronto, Ontario Historical Society. OCLC 1230954. Lee, Robert C. 2004. The Canada Company and the Huron Tract 1826–1853, Personalities, Profits and Politics. Toronto, Natural Heritage Books. ISBN 1-896219-94-2. Lizers, Rabina, McFarlane Lizers, Kathleen 1896. In the Days of the Canada Company, The Story of the Settlement of the Huron Tract and a View of the Social Life of the Period 1825-1850. Introduction by G. M. Grant. Montreal and Halifax, William Briggs. Timothy, H. B. 1984. The Galts, A Canadian Odyssey. Toronto, McClelland and Stewart. ISBN 0-7710-8457-9 See also Huron Tract Family Compact William Tiger Dunlop, MP Robert Graham Dunlop, MP